Welcome to the Visionary Chronicles, a business strategy podcast where we provide insight to those looking for creative, executable strategies built around the latest disruptive ideas, innovative cultures, product creators, and marketing solutions. Today we're going to talk about something that I feel doesn't get talked about enough, whether it be blogs or podcasts. What we really want to do here with the Visionary Chronicles is put those subjects out there that really our audience either struggles with or needs advice on or needs to work through certain areas of their company brand on an ongoing basis. And a lot of these are tangible, some are intangible. Problems are with us every day as we're running our companies. Having been there myself, having run a brand from the scratch to building it over 10 years and eventually selling it to a VC firm, I saw everything. So I can relate to what you go through, whether it be the startup of the company, the ongoing building of the company, everything falls on you. This is a challenge that many business owners struggle with each and every day to put a happy face on, to ensure that everybody understands that everything's going to be okay the ongoing success of the company, the brand, whoever you are. There are stages that you go through in the development of the company. And through all of this, there are certain things that are intangible that I found to be extremely beneficial for me as I move through building and growing my brand and company over a 10-year period. And I carried that through on the other companies that I worked with as well. So the intent here with the Visionary Chronicles is really to address issues that you have, really, whether it be tangible marketing, product, international distribution, but also on the other side of it is you have personal issues you have to deal with in running a company. And how do you get through those? You're going to have stages. You're going to have mountaintops. You're going to have valleys as you go through building and growing your company. So we want to make sure that as these questions come up, that you send those in with questions that are both personal or professional. For us, it's really important that we talk to you about how do others get through these issues. And we can talk about all we want with the problems with the company, financial or otherwise, but we also need to address how do we get through the emotional ups and downs of running a company. And the first one I'd like to talk about, which was really helpful for me, whether it be with my company, brand, or other companies that I've worked with, was always two things that I kept in mind, was faith. Have faith that as you go through the development and growth of your company, that there's a higher power out there and somebody that's going to be on your side helping you through these issues. Otherwise, what else do you have? Many times you're alone as a business owner. And you need to know, as you go through these emotional issues with the company, what is out there? And what can I lean on that seems to be intangible to others but can be tangible to you? And a lot of times I leaned on faith and courage. And I found that there's a lot of instances as you go through your company, you're either breaking through or breaking down. It was really an interesting dichotomy for me as I went through building my company. And both of those require faith and courage as you move forward in building your company. And so in talking about this, sometimes taboo for people, but for me it's not. I want to make sure that when we talk about this in our podcast, that we're addressing things that are important to you. And having been there myself, I can relate to this. So when we talk about faith and courage... We need to talk about internal issues that you have in growing and building your company. So many times when you look for this strength to carry on as you move forward in building your company, you need this inner peace. Many times there's restlessness in your head and in your heart and in your body that you just can't get over. And you need to find a way to carry on, to move forward. I had many ups and downs, what I called valleys and mountaintops as I moved through building my company. I literally started with nothing and built something out of it. But in doing that, I felt like I had these 
dog ears put on me as a result of building and growing my company and brand. It was exhilarating at times. It was frustrating at times. But overall, the pride that you have in building something from scratch, carrying that entrepreneurial badge around the rest of your life, is a tremendous amount of pride for many people out there. But with that is a lot of internal stress, daily stress that you have to carry through each and every day. And so when we talk about this in the podcast, we want to make sure we're there to support you, to understand the pressures that you have and what you go through. So finding a way with this pressure, this constant pressure that you deal with, is finding a way to escape. Control this pressure is a key to a long, sustainable career and livelihood. Taking care of your health as an entrepreneur is critical. So we will talk on our podcast many times about functional areas and strategies and areas that you need to grow, build, and expand your company. But we don't want to lose sight of the fact that you have internal pressures as well. Being on an island sometimes is how you feel as a business owner. So making sure that you take time to deal with this pressure is critical. So I go back to this breaking through or breaking down. It's really two analogies that I found, whether it was inside of a brand or inside of building your own company. The constant pressures that you have. Make sure that you have some faith, some courage and strength to carry through on these barriers that you deal with each and every day. And to be able to work through those internal pressures and have peace. Take time out. Steve Jobs was renowned for taking time out. He would always find a way to escape with walks on the outdoors. And always had people with him that calmed him. Got away from business. Had this zen life. That really was something that for him, which you can adopt as well, is taking the pressure off. Not having this constant 24-7 mindset that every minute of the day you're under pressure. Take time to enjoy your world. As I always say, you can't turn over the sands of time and start over again. Once it's gone, it's gone. So make sure that with your stress, that you find balance. Breaking through or breaking down, whether it be faith, courage, strength, finding that peace and that balance to ensure that as you continue to work through and building your company, that you find a balance in what you do each and every day. Escape reality to a certain degree. What I mean by that, again, is what Steve would do is he would walk through his gardens or the grass barefoot, get a feel for nature. Many times, as simple as that sounds, we just don't do it. And I would guarantee that if you did it more, you would find the pressure decreasing. So make sure that for longevity purposes, that this does not crush you over your career while you're making a livelihood, people count on you. Find a way to relieve that stress. Find a way to escape on a daily basis. Whether that be in your office or out of your office, being able to unplug is a key strategy to our digital world. We can always find something else to read, something else to watch. But one thing we don't do enough of is relax. Have the ability to go out and enjoy nature. Everything that's around you. And I mention this because not many podcasts understand the struggles. These things that do require faith and courage that entrepreneurs and small business owners deal with. So I want to make sure that you understand I've been through this as well. And I'm not being a psychologist. I'm just really trying to get you in tune with this isn't 
everything you need to be doing 24-7. Make sure you take time for yourself, for your family. Set your priorities. Find balance in life. Find the peace you need to recharge. Recharging is important not only for you emotionally, but physically. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself. We're meant to be out with nature, to be out relaxing, to take time to tune out and not always tune in. So I wanted this podcast to be one that was unique to an emotional need a lot of times entrepreneurs have to deal with. So we'll talk about this as well. And this happened to be one of the many questions that we had that I thought was very intriguing because I dealt with it. So I understand what you go through. So making sure that you take time for yourself and you'll have plenty of time to work the company to success. That takes a struggle each and every day. So finding a way outside of breaking through and breaking down Make sure that you have that faith and courage and strength to recharge yourself for the betterment of you as well as your company and your family. A lot of times this needs to be a reminder to entrepreneurs because they are so busy and they're plugged in every single day and every single minute. So making sure that as you're either starting your business, running your business, Understand, people count on you, and it's not just the employees in your four walls. It's also those around you, friends and family. Make sure you take the time to have patience with them and enjoy them while you're running your company, and you'll find great balance as you move through life. So for me, it's really important that we talk about these things outside of the traditional functional areas that we talk about each and every week. So understanding emotionally what you go through and just giving you reminders to be aware of taking care of yourself as a key ingredient to success as much as knowledge is. Those around you will be better for it. That was friends and family and co-workers They will always look to you for security. Security that the company is doing fine. Security through trials. And security long term. And that's a tremendous amount of pressure. Whether it's an executive with a company or an entrepreneur starting up a company by yourself. Always take time to wind down and not break down. So as we go through the Visionary Chronicles, these will be areas that we'll want to talk about, and we love getting questions like this from our listeners, because I'm more than happy to talk about this because I've been through it personally myself. So the courage and the faith to break through those barriers, but also balance that, making sure you take time for yourself. Long term, you'll benefit, and the company will benefit. So always remember, Many of these leaders, including Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, whoever it is, you'll find they've actually taken respites. They've actually found a place where they're away from everybody and they're recharging. So as you go through building your day-to-day, watch the routine. Make sure that you break the routine. If you're not finding time in space, for you to relax, to find peace somewhere where you can think about the next steps of how you're going to grow your company, keep the success moving forward, or the other side of it is dealing with challenges. You really need to be at peace when you're making these decisions. Your company will be better for it, you will be better for it, and those around you will be better for it. So as I said, as we go through the Visionary Chronicles, it's very important we talk about the internal as well as the external. And this was the first one I wanted to talk about because I got the most requests for it. What do you do when you're faced with these barriers, with these challenges? And hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight 
as to those that have been there and what they do in order to deal with these barriers moving forward. So take care of yourself and you'll be better for it. And those around you will as well. Thank you for listening to the Visionary Chronicles, a weekly business strategy podcast where we provide insight to those looking for creative, executable strategies built around the latest disruptive ideas, innovative cultures, product creators, and marketing solutions.